Hey friends, welcome back to Faith Foster Fire Life. Today I wanted to share with you our curriculum picks for the 2021-2022 school year for our first grader. So if you're new to our channel, my name is Val and I'm married to my husband, Pat, who is a firefighter and we are a former foster family and current adoptive family. We also have two biological children and so we have four boys all together and we've been homeschooling for about 10 or 11 years now. And so this year we are homeschooling our 17 year old who will be a senior and our six year old who will be going into first grade. And then our older boy, um, he already graduated so we have one down and three to go. And then our youngest is two, so he's not really school age yet. So um, today I wanted to share our curriculum choices for our first grader, Joseph. So I will let you know that over the years, we have changed our choices of curriculum many, many times. And we try to go with what we feel is a well-rounded education that has a Christian worldview and also fits the needs of the particular child. So we don't always choose the same type of curriculum for all the boys. We try to go on their learning style and what really fits them best. So this year, we did make a few changes to our normal curriculum picks, and I'm excited to show them to you. To start Joseph's first grade year, we are going to start with his language arts curriculum, which you can see is from The Good and the Beautiful. And this is a Christian curriculum. It's a non-denominational Christian curriculum. And uh, we did use this last year. Uh, on the tail end of the year because the beginning of his kindergarten year um, I found that he wasn't really ready for their level K course work just yet for reading so I actually went through um, 100 easy lessons to teach your child to read something like that um, to teach him to read and then once we completed that book he was ready for their kindergarten level for this book but now he I think is ready for their level one course going into first grade. So as you can see here, the Good and the Beautiful Language Arts curriculum is also a literature curriculum and it covers phonics, reading, spelling, writing, literature, grammar and punctuation, and art appreciation. So you can see that it does cover quite a big range for language arts. It's not just teaching your child to read. So I will quickly go through and show you what this curriculum is about. So of course in the very beginning it gives the um, layout of how all the lessons, you, where you can find the different lessons. And then this tells you um, a little bit about how this edition is different from past editions in case you were coming from um, an older edition of The Good and the Beautiful. And uh, I really like this part of their curriculum where it shows you items needed for the course. So you can right away in the beginning of the book find out what you're going to need for the whole year. And then it also gives you an overview of what their curriculum is going to cover from pre-K all the way to level seven. So you can kind of look ahead and plan for your child going forward. And this is also a really nice thing because it shows you the principles behind this course. and what their motivation was to do it the way that they did. So you can see here, easy to teach with no preparation time. That's one thing I love. Uh, it connects multiple subjects as we talked about in the beginning and covers more than just reading. And it emphasizes the good and the beautiful God, family, nature, and high moral character. And that is something that, um, you know, over years and years of homeschooling, I have discovered is the most important thing far above academics is really focusing on your child's heart and keeping a connection with them and keeping them loving God and loving others, as we always say on this channel. So um, this gives you, this is a little bit more in depth about how each part of the curriculum works. So I will just skip ahead here to, um, these are uh, word ladders, site word ladders, and then here is unit one, an overview. So you see here there's some spelling words 
It again goes over what you're going to need for this unit. So right away for mom, that's very helpful. And then major phonics and grammars taught, it goes over what they're going to be learning in this unit and books used in the level one reader. So we will get to that in a second. I can actually show you here. This is comes with the curriculum. So this is the level one reader. So it's going to tell you on that level one unit, which books in this uh, book they're going to read. Okay, and you can see here that the print in these readers is large, very clear. Um, of course, the artwork in this curriculum is beautiful. That's one of the main draws to this curriculum. It is very engaging and the children also appreciate that. It's not very child, like babyish, you know, even in my first grader, only six years old, recognizes when things are kind of babyish. Um, so here, I'll just flip through a few pages here for you so you can see the type of um, reading that they'd be doing and and again that beautiful artwork okay so each story is only a few pages long which is really appropriate for their age group and you can see as they go on they get a little bit longer and um, there's always a lesson to be learned in each one of these too so um, so back to this writing and other principles taught. So then it'll go over what other things you're gonna expect to see in this unit. So literature appreciation, summarizing, oral narration, creative writing, reading comprehension, art appreciation, poetry appreciation, poetry memorization, logic and reasoning. So you can see this is a very well-rounded curriculum. Um, and it gives you, you can see it's beautiful, it's not, this, this part here obviously looks very wordy, but that's from the parent to read. That's not for the child. The child's going to be focusing on these larger um, prints for these words, and you can see how um, it's easy to follow. So that's a quick overview of the Good and the Beautiful Level 1 course book for Literature and Language Arts, and that is the Level 1 reader that we already flipped through quickly. And then it also comes with the Good and the Beautiful Phonics cards. So um, I do, I know last year I did not buy them this way. I think they were actually out of stock when I purchased it. So they sent me the PDF download and I printed these on my printer and cut them out. But um, this year they were in stock and so I purchased them. They were part of the bundle, I believe. So these I have to still go ahead and prep and you can see that they are perforated. So that won't take much time at all. You just perforate them, pull them apart. And then, um, so you see the letter A here on the, on the back. It gives you how to um, pronounce each type of A, a short, a long A, and then examples of each, of each one. So those are very, very handy. So this is something that they use all throughout the year, their phonics cards. And so that is our literature cur curriculum. And so next we'll move on to handwriting. And again, we chose the good and the beautiful handwriting. This is also level one. He did complete the level K last year. It was a smaller book. I can actually show you what that one looked like. So this was the level K book that he did last year. And um, you can see, again, it's letter formation and also at the bottom they'd always have like little um, things you can draw or color or this was practicing squiggly lines and connect the dots things of that sort so that was last year's so this year level one handwriting is obviously a little bit bigger there's more to do um, as they get older, they can sit for longer periods of time and practice for a little bit longer. And again, they include little activities. It's not just the handwriting portion of it. So that is his basic um, manuscript handwriting book that we're going to use. And then I do have some other things that I use in addition to that. I have this Usborne White Clean Starting Cursive because I do want my boys to learn both 
uh, manuscript and cursive. And so this is a fun one. It's again, it's pretty fun for him to look at. The beginning of this book starts with um, just practicing, you know, the smooth movement of the pen and has little fun things you can read to them as they go along. And then it moves into, you can see he's, he started doing this last year, but this is a wipe clean book. So we're gonna reuse this over and over again. And so they show you um, how to form the letters and then also connecting them and then starting to write some of the words to get that practice in. And so I felt like teaching manuscript along with cursive is, um, probably a good thing. <laughs> My older boys um, did not start homeschooling until um, a few years in, so they just learned manuscript in public school and then I had to teach them cursive as when they came home to homeschool. So, and then I just picked this up at the Dollar Tree and it's just an ABC 123 writing pad. Um, he's already used some of it, you can see in the beginning, <laughs> practicing there. Uh, but again, it's just another another little resource is a dollar for extra practice. And you know, he likes Paw Patrol, so that's always a win. Okay, and then after handwriting, we have, um, this is something else I that goes kind of along with handwriting. It goes along with that those motor skills, the fine motor skills. And again, this is a book that I'm probably gonna need to pick up another one because he did use quite a few pages of it last year. And we skipped through, there were a bunch of pages of just cutting straight lines and he got really good at that. So <laughs> we skipped a bunch. But then you can see as the book moves along, it gets a little more difficult, a little higher level of cutting. And so that's just another fun little resource. I probably got this at the Dollar Tree as well or some a Walmart or somewhere like that, very inexpensive. Okay, and then next we have math. And again, we chose to go with the good and the beautiful math. Now last year we did start the year off with um, Matthew C, which is the same curriculum that my older boys used. However, um, Joseph, I started to see that it was a little bit unnecessary for him to go through that kind of pattern. Um, Matthew C is a mastery type of curriculum. They work on one thing, master it and move on instead of a spiral where they come back and, and work on things. So um, we ended up using just regular math workbooks. Math is Joseph's uh, strong suit. He loves math, he understands it quickly. He basically taught himself how to add and subtract. Um, so, you know, I didn't need the Matthew C um, type of hands-on curriculum for him. So we might go back to that in the future, I don't know. But I did hear good things about the good and the beautiful math because they redid it. There were a lot of complaints prior with their old method because I guess there were a lot of manipulatives to deal with. And so you can see they've really simplified it. This is the little box that comes with the cur um, curriculum. And this is all that it comes with for manipulative. So it's pretty simple. I think they really got it down to the basics of what kids really need and without it being too cumbersome. And I do love that it came in its own little box. So we are going to, and you can see it says Math K. The reason I went with Math K instead of the first grade math was because even though it's his strong suit, I figured I we've never used the good and the beautiful math before. So I wanted to start with their basic level math. And then if he flies through this, which he very well might, um, then no big deal. We will just fly through it. He'll get a lot of practice. I'll, I'll really have a good understanding of where he's at. And um, then I can just go ahead and purchase the next level. But I just, when it comes to math, you know, you really have to know the first level of something before you can move on to the next. So I didn't want to skip this, having never used their curriculum, and just jump right into first grade math. So I'm looking, you know, I've already skimmed through this, and I know that this kind of thing is pretty easy for him. So as we get through the middle of the book here, this is where it starts to get a little bit harder for him. Um, so we'll have to just see, you know, and that's the beauty of homeschooling, right, is you go at your child's pace and um, really bank on their strong suits and work on their, their weak spots. So um, this is you know something I know he doesn't have a whole lot of practice with is telling time, so that will be good. So 
so. And again, beautiful artwork, really engaging for the kids and very appropriate for their ages. So that is his math curriculum and I will probably do an update video if we fly through this and um, he moves on to the next one. Next we have, this is from Master Books. This is God's Design, Life for Beginners and it goes over plants for beginners, the human body for beginners, and animals for beginners. So I've never used Master Books before and I did see this curriculum reviewed by another YouTuber, um, a woman on a journey, uh, suggested this to her viewers and she went through it and showed, and her, her son is the same age, uh, she's a six year old as well. And as she went through the book, I really was um, intrigued by the layout and the different topics that it covered all in one book. And you know, I just thought that this would be a good book that would probably fill in the gap. So up until now, Joseph has learned a lot about these types of things like the human body, about nature, just from books we've read, um, from TV shows, you know, YouTube, educational YouTube shows, things like that. Nothing very formal. So I thought if we went through this book and um, went through each page and I could kind of see what he knows, what he doesn't know, and it's kind of in a more formal layout um, to go through this book. So this is kind of his um, science curriculum for the year, but it's also um, with, with the human body. Um, I think that's gonna touch on some health issues, so that would be good. And then the other thing he's going to be doing for science this year is through our homeschool co-op, which we go to every Friday and they are, there were a few choices for science for his age group and the one he chose was electrical science. And I don't have the book for it because the teacher, I think, is creating her own curriculum. So we don't have to buy a book for that. So I'm excited to see what he's going to learn in electrical science this year along with, um, with this book for science. Okay, and then we have Bible. And so Bible is obviously a family subject. We will um, start our day with Bible and family devotional with um, all the kids. And when my husband's home, he, he usually joins us. And so we are going to use for Joseph the storybook Bible. And this Bible has um, audio CDs, which is great because um, when there are times when maybe Daniel, our two-year-old, needs a little bit of extra attention, I can play the CDs for Joseph and he can go ahead and listen to that with um, while I'm handling the toddler. So um, again, this is a really beautiful book. Um, it's been around for many, many years and um, we are excited to use this Bible this year. We used a different um, Bible. It was more of a Bible stories book last year, and then he would listen in on our, our devotionals. So I'm excited to use the Jesus Storybook Bible this year. And then in addition to this, I also ordered from September & Co. Um, character cards, and I don't they did not come in yet, so I will go ahead and put in some screenshots or footage of their character cards to share with you guys. And they're really nice. Um, they're very age appropriate for a first grader. And they just focus on different characters of God that we can um, just take a week or two and focus on each characteristic and um, you know try to really instill that and practice it as a family. <laughs> we always need some practice on being kinder to each other. So that's an overview of the curriculum that we chose this year for Joseph. Additionally, at our homeschool co-op, he's going to take gym. And um, so that's awesome because he's gonna have about 10 other kids to have a gym class with, along with the normal things that we do. So our pool is still open and he does play soccer for our town. So he, and you know, he's a six year old boy, he's running around being physical and active all the time. So he's going to have gym at co-op and then an art class. And um, our 
co-op, one of the moms there is a professional artist. She has a business called Mermaid's Baubles. And you know what? I'm going to actually link her company down below because she does amazingly beautiful work and she's a super dedicated homeschool mom and we are really blessed to have her at our homeschool co-op. So she teaches the art classes and um, she's just great with all ages of kids. So I'm excited for Joseph to be in her class this year. And so, yeah, so he's got his language arts, his math, and um, handwriting and all of that at home. And then at co-op, he's going to have his art, gym, and science class. So we are really looking forward to this year and hoping that, you know, it's a more normal homeschool year and we'll be back doing our normal stuff. So I hope you guys um, enjoyed this video and maybe you found something that one of your kids would like. And so I'll try to link below everything that we got and um, to the resources that I mentioned that haven't come in yet. And um, hope that you guys have an awesome school year too. And, you know, link down below Below. One thing that we are struggling with, or I'm going to be struggle, struggling with, is what to do with my two-year-old while teaching the first grader. So if you guys have any tips for me, please leave them in the comments below. I would love to know what you do if you have little ones um, in tow on your school year too. So thanks so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the like bell, the like button as well. And um, Remember guys, love God and love others.